So one thing that I've learned in my days of YouTubing is that YouTube or being a YouTube creator is a great way to create new insecurities. Uh, things that you never realized about yourself or things that you never paid much attention to, uh, other people do and they uh, are not shy about pointing that out. So the first thing that I used to always have a problem with or, or that people seem to always want to point out was my, um, I guess the bags under my eyes. I would always get these comments that are like, get some sleep, dude, or, oh, this guy stand, and, you know, I would get these all the time, and after a while, I'm like, Jesus, seriously, am I look, do I look that bad, you know, um, and to be honest, I, I do actually, like, dab a little, I haven't, I don't do it for TMI videos, but I've got a little, uh, a little makeup thing, look, I, I've done a lot of acting in the past, I'm not, I don't care about makeup, I'm, I'm good with it, in fact, I, every time I've done any acting, they've, like, made me up. I've always been like, why can't I do this every day? I look amazing. Um, <laughs> it's not fair. Uh, I always, like whenever I hear a woman complaining about how she has to put on makeup, I'm always like, what are you talking about? You get to make this look better. We don't get to make this look better. This is what we, we wake up, we walk out and this is what you get. Um, I would, I would wear makeup in a heartbeat if it wasn't weird. Um, but anyway, so I, I started kind of doing a little bit of that and I got a little bit less of it. And the thing now that I've been getting a lot is I get comments about my eyebrows. I'm constantly getting comments telling me to stop tweezing my eyebrows. Um, I, I, some of them are like super accusatory. It's like, that's something that girls do. That's not something that men do. Are you not a man? And I'm like, well, no, I never have been, but um, that has nothing to do with it. The fact of the matter is I've never tweezed my eyebrows ever in my entire life. I've never tweezed a single strand of hair from my eyebrows and yet I keep getting these people saying that I'm over tweezing and I'm just like what and uh I, I took a look I, I was while I was editing and working on this last Monday's video I did notice I guess somebody had just commented on it so it was it was kind of in my head and I was like okay I think I see what they're talking about so let me show you what, I, what I'm referring to here uh let me, I'm going to have to make this a little bit bigger. So yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was just doing this and I noticed, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but like right above my eye, it almost looks like, um, I wish I could draw on this thing, but I can't, it, it looks like there's like, just like just a little, it looks like it's right. You can't see me. It looks like from here over, there's no eyebrow. It looks, it's like a, it's like a little dot, a little hairy dot right above my eye, and there's like a huge gap in the middle here. I've got like a re, a, a reversed unibrow, and and they're like from about here over on my eyes, like you can't you can't see the eyebrow. And I wanted to do this video because I swear it's a it's a camera setting. Um, the the camera that I use is called an Oni, uh, Oni a Sony A six thousand. And, um, I think this is just a setting that it's on. I haven't really gone through and messed with the settings that much. I didn't like purposefully put it here, but I liked it because, um, I don't have very smooth skin like at all. My, I, for anybody who's following the channel for a while, I've had to do, um, treatments on my face for like precancerous conditions and, and it's not, it was super ugly back in the day. And, and so there's still, there's still a little bit of splotchiness that I would prefer uh, not be there, but something about this camera setting, it tends to kind of even out my skin tone. So, uh, I think it's that setting algorithm or whatever you want to call it. That's, that's kind of making the corners of my eyebrows kind of disappear in certain lighting conditions. And maybe when I'm, when I'm turned just like, maybe, maybe like right there, you can't hardly see from here over, but I want to show you, look, let me get close. I fully have eyebrows. They go all the way over. See, they go all the way over here, and they start like right about there. They could be a little fuller, but they're not weird. And that's why I, would, I was always getting so weirded out when people were <laughs> were saying stuff like that. It's like I don't tweeze. They're there. I promise you. I just I don't get it. But I think it's the I think it's the lighting, and I think it's the camera that might be the problem. But you know, I I don't want to weird people out too much. I don't want anybody to freak out. So. Um, in the interest of making everybody comfortable and being okay with um, my eyebrows, I decided to steal my wife's eyebrow pencil, and I'm gonna I'm gonna fix them right here. So let's let's just even these out. So see, so that that's better. It's getting 
It's getting, you know, I want to get on over here too. I want to make them dark. That's good. And you know, you, this, this, uh, the setting on the camera, you got to really over exaggerate to make sure that it's okay. And you know, I want one of these, I want it to be like up. I want it to smile on the ends there. So there we go. So you want to, you want to put a little smile on your eyebrow or else, you know, people won't really know what you're all about. This is kind of weird because I'm doing it in the camera and it's a little bit backwards. So this is now a makeup tutorial channel. So see, that's, that's what we like. That's what everybody wants. So here, let's, this will calm everybody down. Nobody's going to think this is weird at all. Everybody's going to be like, oh, he has totally normal eyebrows. And I'm going to start getting comments from people saying, dude, I love your eyebrows. And, uh, and that's really what this channel is about is like eyebrow health. And, uh, you know, I'm going to start taking some Rogaine for eyebrow. Maybe there's some supplements I can take. Um, let's bring it down a little bit here. I want, a, I want a powerful, strong eyebrow line. So there we go. Good for everybody. I'm really doing this backwards. It's very weird. So uh, I, think, I think I nailed it. This is a good look for me. So I'm going to do this from all my videos from now on. And uh, I, think, I think that'll make everybody happy. I won't get any weird comments for this at all. So... Moving on, what else can I talk about? Um, I, I do have a little bit of an update on the whole car situation you guys have been following. Um, I had I had a hang up last week because I was trading in my Jetta and I wasn't expecting much. It, it's a 13 year old car. Uh, honestly, the whole reason I was doing it as a trade in was because I just didn't want to have to uh, deal with selling it somewhere else. I thought it'd be simpler just to simplify the whole thing. Um, I'm not expecting it to make a big dent <laughs> in what I'm paying for, for the Tesla or anything. But anyway, so it, uh, it was kind of stuck in this point where my advisor said that um, it was going to take a couple of days for them to come back with a trade-in offer. And I didn't hear anything all week. So on Monday, uh, or actually Sunday night, I, I sent the guy an email and I was like, look, if this is going to be the hang-up, just forget it. I'll go sell my car at CarMax or something. This is not, this is not something I'm concerned about. Uh, so he wound up, he dropped off the trade in thing. So I'm going to sell my car now, uh, probably through CarMax. I don't think I'm famous enough for somebody to spend extra money to drive my old car. And I would feel like I was ripping somebody off if I did. So, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go sell it at CarMax as soon as my, my car comes in. It's not that big a deal. Uh, so the next thing, um, and this has been a very frustrating process because you never really, it's always like, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. It's like, you got to do this thing. So you, you do it real quick and then you just sit there for like a week and you don't hear anything. And it seems like I don't hear anything until I email the guy and then something finally happens. But, um, anyway, so I kind of got back to him. I was like, can you just kind of give me an idea of where I am in the process here? Because it seems like every time I complete a step, there's another step. And basically what the situation is right now is they're putting together the contract. Uh, he said it would be seven to 10 business days, um, to get that back to me. So I'm looking at probably two weeks. I'm just expecting why it takes two weeks to put a contract together. I don't know. I'm uh, whatever. Anyway. Uh, so when they get done with that, then I'll have to pay. Um, here's where things get a little bit weird because Texas is, uh, I think I've talked about this before. Texas is a non dealership state or whatever. So I have to actually pay the whole amount in full to Tesla before they can ship it over here, which is kind of weird. But uh, anyway, so once they get the contract back and I sign it, I believe after that, all I have to do is make payment to them and then uh, they'll ship it out. And he said it would be about 14 days or two weeks uh, before it comes in after that. So I'm looking at like two weeks and then pay and then two weeks before delivery. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking probably the end of August at this point is when it might get here. So um, we'll see. And I certainly hope I don't wind up paying for this and then sitting there waiting and getting it pushed back, the delivery pushed back over and over and over again. Uh, this is a killer look for me. I think I'm really liking it. I, I look very Mediterranean right now. And I think I got them perfectly even, didn't I? I'm so good at this. Nobody's going to have a problem with this. Maybe I should fill in my beard the same way, just make it super dark. Anyway, uh, but no, so this is good. I want to just do a quick video, fix my eyebrow situation, get you guys caught up on, on the Tesla situation because I'm always getting... Uh, ask questions about it but that's it for now hope you guys are all doing well and um hopefully i'll be back with something again uh tomorrow we'll see peace